Good afternoon, folks. I've got something pretty cool to show you today. A couple weeks ago, I did a review slash overview demonstration, whatnot, of a product from a UV pack light. They had a scout package that they had put together with several different uh, rechargeable glow lights, glow sticks, glow pads, you know, that sort of thing. I'll leave a link to that video in the description of this video. But a couple of you guys let me know after I posted that video that they were coming out with a Kickstarter with a, a new flashlight they were trying to bring to market. So thank you to Ducks Dog and everybody else out there who let me know that they were putting this pretty cool flashlight on the market. Anyway, after I posted that video, I was talking to uh, Alexis at UV Packlight, and she said, hey, would you mind showing this off while this Kickstarter is still running? So, here I am. I'd love to show this Mule Light version 2 off to you, kind of demo it a little bit, and get you guys a sneak peek of what's coming down the line on the market. First off guys, welcome back. Thanks for being here today. I appreciate you spending your time with me. Like I said, this is a flashlight. It's the Mule Light version 2 from UV Packlight. They have a Kickstarter running like I previously mentioned. At the time that I post this, there'll probably be about five or six days left on that Kickstarter. So if you want to jump in on it, you still have time. Anyway, about the flashlight folks, this is not a review. This is more like an introduction of a concept to you guys. This is the only flashlight in the world like this right now, and it's not exactly what they're gonna be bringing to market. This one is 3D printed. It's not the end model that you're gonna see, which is gonna be molded injection and, and you know all that nifty stuff that you expect to see from a modern type flashlight. Let's change the camera angle, and I'll show it off to you. Like I said, this is gonna be a concept introduction to you guys, but we are gonna handle it kind of like a review, so to speak. We're just gonna work our way from the outside in. This is the pouch that comes with it, and I am pretty impressed with this pouch. I liked it right off the get-go. At first, you know, you're thinking it's a little bit big, but it has some serious positives with that. First off, the belt loop, it is both, it both snaps and it has Velcro. It's gonna stay secure to your belt. One thing that first jumped out of me about this belt loop is I wear an inch and a half belt that will easily be accommodated by this belt loop. It snaps down nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. You have a lot of Velcro to keep it shut. And as you can see down in there, there's here's the flashlight. There is actually room for two flashlights in here if you wanted to do that. But they offer a couple different battery packs that come with this. This battery pack right here, this is for an 18650, a rechargeable light, which is also pretty cool. The battery pack itself, it has a mini USB plug right there. It comes with its own cord. You can recharge this off of a backup uh, power supply you can recharge it off the USB on your computer or you know like a lot of phone chargers nowadays are USB based you plug them into the wall and you can plug in a cord to it you know you can plug these in any way that you can charge up any any mini USB device they also offer which is what I have in there right now this is for three triple A's so you have two different ways that you can keep this running just depending on your daily use your style I know a lot of folks like to use double A's and triple A's um, just because of their ease of availability the pouch, it has a flap in the back for your USB cord. Keep it nice and integrated. Now with your flashlight in there, you have room, you actually have room in this pouch for your flashlight and three battery packs to go in here. You have one in the flashlight and you have two stuffed down to the side. So you have a lot of availability of power. You also have a little pouch right back behind this Velcro enclosure and pouches on the side. So you can really trick out this pouch with your, your EDC gear. Anyway, enough about the pouch. You guys didn't click on this video for the pouch. Now, there is a lot to cover with this flashlight, so I'm gonna move kind of fast, but most of this is gonna be demoed after it's dark. I mean, what good is a flashlight video in daytime? Anyway, as you can see, there's three buttons here. You have a couple different modes. You have the spotlight, what they call it front. It has a top lumen rating of 300. So you click it once, you get your high mode, which is 300 lumens. You hold it down, it will blink at you. You'll get your low mode, which I don't know that, why that looks like a strobe on my hand on the camera, but trust me, it's not strobing. You'll see better in, in a dark. You'll see better once it's dark. And then you hold it down again, and you get your fast strobe. And once you're in strobe, you hold it down again, and let off. It'll go back to your high mode, which again is 300 lumens. Then you hit it and it turns it back off. Now while we're talking about the spotlight, the, the light on the front of this flashlight. On the back, you do have a removable cap that comes off. Now, for those that may wonder how secure is this, it's really secure on there. You have to really bang this around to get it to, to fly off. You can move the red filter to the top, which I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this in the daylight. See a little bit. You'll see better when I do this in the dark. 
Anyway, you have the filtered red light if you don't want to kill your night vision or be kind of incognito. Now, so far, this is pretty standard for a flashlight, right? This is where we start to get really innovative. Now here, you have those glow-in-the-dark crystals that you can charge up with a flashlight, you can charge up in the sun. Any ambient light will charge these crystals up. This is where it really starts to, starts to get innovative. Behind this, this is held on with pretty strong magnets. It's not going to fly off unless you purposefully take it off. Behind this little unit or the, the crystal module or whatnot, on one side you have white LEDs. They look yellow to the eye, but they, they glow white. And then on the other side, you have black light LEDs. The white LEDs are what they call their task light LEDs. These go for 100 lumens, as you can see there. And let's show you the black light really quick. Don't know how well it's showing up. You'll see better at nighttime, guys. Now, what's really cool about these is, as I mentioned last week or the week before when I posted the other UV pack light video, one of the ways that you can charge this is what they charge these crystals is what they call their supercharge, where you take a really bright flashlight, shine it on them for a couple of seconds, and it really supercharges them and it, they glow strong for a relatively long period of time. I don't know in the daytime. Yeah, you guys can see that. Again, you will see a lot better at nighttime. So that aspect of this where you can supercharge the, the crystals, turn your flashlight out, and you still have active light coming off of these crystals, that is where this really starts to kind of uh, sidestep other lights in the flashlight industry. But another aspect about this that is really neat, they have what I believe they call their, their maintenance mode, something like that. You turn the light on, then you hold it in for a few seconds, and it flashes at you. And then every three minutes, for three seconds, that those LEDs will come on, re-supercharge these crystals, and then turn off for another three minutes. And so it's constantly recharging these crystals, so you keep these crystals at their peak brightness for long periods of time. So it really extends your battery life. As I've previously mentioned, the spotlight up here is 300 lumens. On the AAA batteries, you have a runtime on high for 1.9 hours. On low, you have 12.7 hours. The lithium-ion battery, if that's powering your flashlight on high that goes for six hours on low for 29 hours onto the task light which is the white leds on this main part here behind the crystals on it's 100 lumens and on AAA batteries you have four hour runtime on the lithium ion battery which is again the 18650 battery and on hybrid mode where the leds come on for uh three seconds every three minutes the AAA batteries you have a runtime of 210 hours on the lithium ion battery that goes for 420 hours and then the UV black lights on the AAA's that runs for 4.3 hours the lithium ion is nine hours in hybrid mode again that comes on for three seconds every three minutes the AAA batteries run for 240 hours and the lithium ion battery runs for 540 hours. Now there's one other cool aspect of this flashlight I want to show you guys before we take this to the nighttime and actually show you exactly what this flashlight can do from a more real perspective. Like I mentioned, the task light, which you can see glowing behind these glow crystals here. The pocket clip here, right there, it's magnetized. And so, if you're working on your car, doing another project, even working in your house, say the power goes out and you're wanting to cook over a propane stove, you can stick this on the vent cover above your stove, work with it, you can put this anywhere you're working up under your vehicle, and you have easy light to see what you're doing, shining where you need it, bright enough to be able to see. It's really neat. Let's kind of give some perspective on the 100 lumens this uh, task light puts out. Here, we are looking under the hood of my truck. Guys, as you can see, it's putting off quite a bit of light. Let me focus this down. You can see the back side of that engine compartment really well. If I was needing to work on the manifold, change spark plugs, you know, do something like that, I could easily do that with the amount of light it's putting off. I do about 95% of all the work done to my vehicles, whether it be engine work, transmission work, changing tires, doing brakes, something like that. I do most of the work on our vehicles, and I can tell you unequivocally, if I was stuck in the nighttime having to change a part underneath my hood, up under my truck, change a tire, whatever, I can easily use that light and use it to see and do what I need to get done and not have to strain and look and see what I need to do. All right, here we go for the 300 lumens on the Mule version 2. It has a, a more narrow focus but I can't say that it doesn't meet the 300 lumens. But once these hit production, 
we will definitely get a more thorough review on these things. But anyway, let's get on to the rest of this. Let's go ahead and move down to the lower mode. It'll flash at us, and there we have the lower mode. Hopefully this is coming out on camera a lot better than it is on my feedback screen. All right, let's move on to the strobe. There we go. And then we go back to the 300 lumen or high mode. All right, again, let's talk about the task light portion. This is the white LED that runs along the center. It's the six LEDs that glow white. As you can see me here and hopefully see the ground as I walk away. And now let's give the black lights a try. There are the black lights. It's pretty handy about this. You can play CSI even if you want to with your kids. Now let's look at this with the glow crystals attached. Let's do the white LEDs. There we go. As you can see that comes through really nice. It is almost like a lantern with the glow crystal module acting like a light diffuser and just spreading the light out in a nice soft way. You could easily read to this from several feet away. And what's nice about that is when you can turn this light off and you still have readable light that will last for a long time. And what's really cool about that, folks, this is one of UV pack lights, they call it the tube light. This is what I typically take with me hammock camping. I just toss it up on my ridge line or in a pouch or whatever, depending on what hammock I take. And it sits right above my head and I can read a book by it. And when I'm done, the glow is not so obtrusive that I can't go to sleep. And so, you know, this light, if, you know, if I have a lengthy night, because it has that hybrid mode where you turn it on and then you hold the button down for a couple seconds and it flashes at you, then the light stays on for three seconds and then it cuts off and then I believe three minutes later it comes back on for three seconds and it recharges those glow crystals. You have an enormous amount of time off these glow crystals so you have an almost indefinite period of light. And just to kind of tie into that, let's turn the black lights back on here. The black lights, the black lights are a lot easier on your eyes if you're, you know, if you have to wake up in the middle of the night to do something, you know, go to the bathroom or, you know, adjust your fire or something like that. It is uh, scientifically proven that a black light will not wake you up as much as a white light or a typical flashlight. So if you use the black light, you're not going to get woken up quite as much. It's not going to burn out your night vision quite as much. And also, they have done the same thing with the black lights. They have added that hybrid mode. So if you want that softer, easier on your eyes, easier in your nighttime life type light, you hold that button down, it'll flash at you, it'll come on for three seconds, and then cut itself off. It'll recharge these nice soft crystals, and then it'll, about three minutes later, it'll come back on, recharge them, and then cut off. Let's take a look at the red light. This is with that red filter that is stored on the tail cap of this light. All right, folks. Well, that is as much show and tell as I've got for you today. Let's go ahead and conclude this video. And that, my friends, pretty much does it on this UV pack light Mule 2 version of their flashlight. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. I think that comes through in the video pretty good. Now, as I mentioned, this is a proof of concept. It's not a review. I can't do any real torture testing on this, again, because this is it's 3D printed. It's not a production model. Those will be injected, molded, and all that good stuff that you expect from a modern-day flashlight. So that being said, some of you guys may be wondering, Joe, if, if you can't torture test it, how am I supposed to know if this is a good flashlight, or how can you say this is a good flashlight? Well, I can't. I can say the concept is stellar. I think it's a great idea. Now, with that being said, when these hit production, and the production models come out and hit the market, they're going to send me another one so I can do a full workup, full review on it so I can torture test it. These aren't specifically waterproof, but they are water resistant, so that just means that the seals and stuff, they are, they are meant to repel water, but they aren't designed to be dunked for lengthy periods of time. So if you accidentally drop it in a puddle or if you're working in the rain, you don't have anything to worry about, but you know, don't go swimming in a swimming pool with it, you know, something like that. But anyway, enough rambling, guys. I look forward to showing this off to you again when these hit production. Thanks for being here today. I've had a lot of fun showing this off to you. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I encourage you to check out their Kickstarter 
page. There's a lot more information on their Kickstarter page than what I covered in this video. Speaking of their Kickstarter page, the price point on these, depending on what you want to get, it starts out at 60 bucks if you choose to get the AAA uh, power plant or whatnot on these. If you want the lithium ion battery power plant or whatnot, it goes up to $75 and they have different packages beyond there. Folks, thanks again for being here today. Like I said, I've had a lot of fun showing this off to you. Do me a favor, if you like this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Also, if you haven't done so yet, there's a subscribe button down below. If you want to see more content like this coming from me and my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. And as always, guys, that comment section is the most important thing here. Hit that up. Let me know what you think of this flashlight. Maybe some other flashlights that I have no idea exist. Go ahead and let me know about that. Let other folks out there know what you use on a daily basis and maybe why you think it is uh, so handy to you. Anyway, folks, thanks again for being here today, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.